Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a few Tagalog words you may want to learn before you get to the Philippines. So let's get at it. Hey, this is Cheeks in the Philippines. I just celebrated my 10th year living in the Philippines, and I don't claim to be an expert, but there are a few things that I picked up and uh, learning some Tagalog words, if you're in an area where they speak Tagalog, uh, will greatly help you when you come here. First off, the Filipinos will respect you for trying to learn their language. I mean, they, they're, they're just kind of amazed that you would even try to do it. And then, like when I go to the Palenque, Palenque is the market here. If I go up to a lady and I say, ma'am, how much is this per kilo? She'll say 500 pesos. Kind of is a kilo, which means how much is a kilo? She'll say 300 pesos. So you kind of get a break, you know, from on, on your prices. Now, Tagalog is spoken in most of the country. Um, when you get down in Visaya and Mindanao, they have another language. Visaya is the language, you know, Moai, Moai. But even though they have their language, they can understand Tagalog. So if you plan on going there or moving there, it still benefits you to learn Tagalog. So let's start with some basics. You know, in America, our vowels, we got A-E-I-O-U. Well, they have the same thing in a Tagalog language, except it's pronounced differently. A-E-I-O-U. So it's just pronounced different. And I'm gonna link, uh, and I'm gonna link a website in the description below where you can actually hear a native speaker pronouncing each one of these letters, and then it's uh, it's, it's a good website. It's called uh, Tagalog Basics. But let me teach you a few words. Uh, the first one would be kumusta. Kumusta means how are you. Uh, you'll hear that a lot when you come here. And then you can reply, mabute, which means good or fine. Lots of times, you know, I'll say kumusta to someone and they'll say okay long, or they say alice, which, uh, you know, okay long means they're okay. Alice means they're good too, but uh, majority of the time you will hear the word mabute. The next word is po, P-O. And what po is, it's a, a sign of respect for someone older to you or someone in authority. So you'll hear the word po a lot. And that's gonna, that's gonna kinda interact with some word, more words we learn here in just a second. The next one is salamat. Salamat, which means thank you. So going back to the word po, if somebody gives you something, you would say salamat po, salamat po. So you're showing, you're saying thank you with respect. Uh, the next word is opo, which means yes. That's kind of basic. Hindi, which means no. Now, I've never heard someone put po after opo, but you do put po after hindi. So you could say hindi po. Indeed, Paul. But you never say, I, I, you just hear yes is opo. Uh, the next word is ate. Ate is, ate is a show of respect for a female that's older than you. You will hear that word a lot. Like if an older lady comes here, I'll say, hey, ate. I'll say, hey, ate Sheena. Or hey, ate Juliet. Or you know, you just put the word ate in front of their name. And when you're addressing an older male or somebody in authority, you say kuya. So I'd say, hey kuya Rick, or hey kuya Tutu, or kuya Aldrich, or any of them. So kuyas, you'll hear that a lot too. Uh, the next word is wala. Wala means nothing. Or or no. It could, could kind of mean no a lot also. I'll give you an example. 
I said, son, can you go over there at the store and buy me a drink? Can you buy me a Sprite? He'll come back and he'll say, voila. That means they don't have any. Now, lots of times what will happen is I'll send my son over to that store to be across the street and he'll look at me and do like this. So when they do that, that means voila also. That means nothing, we don't have any. So it, it means the same thing as voila. Uh, the next word is male, or boy, or man, which is lalake, lalake. Uh, female is babae, babae. Um, the next word is masarap, which means delicious. Like if you go into a restaurant and you taste a new food or something, you say, mmm, my sarap. And a lot of, lots of times they'll shorten it. They'll just say sarap, sarap. They'll take the ma off of it. Uh, the next word is ano, ano, which means what? The next word is ito, which means this. So you'll hear this a lot, ano ito. What's, what is this? Ano ito. So you use the word ano and ito a lot. Um, in the future, I'm going to do a lot more videos on these. You know, I'm going to do the who, what, when, where. Um, you know, how do you say you? How do you say me? Uh, just different Tagalog words. So uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, keep looking up. God's always watching. And uh, if you have time, check out some more of my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.